Gilbert? Here. Uh, Mr. Betzel? Here. Mr. Yoshimura? Here. Mr. Tsort? Here. Ms. Betzel? Still here. <laughs> okay, I'm logged in, but I'm not getting the top part here. I gotta log out again. Next item is okay. presentation of the tax budget. Amy's got a presentation. First. Okay. So the Ohio Revised Code requires every taxing district to adopt a tax budget annually. And because we're on a fiscal year and not on a calendar year, we're kind of different than everybody else in the county. And so everybody's sending the county their tax budgets right now. The county, the law did change and allow a modified tax budget to happen which Hamilton County has adopted, which is what we file. So the majority of that is our five-year forecast. So we have to file for a modified, you only have to file your general fund and any other fund that collects taxes. A regular tax budget, you submit every fund you have. So in our tax budget, you'll see we have our five-year forecast, which is the general fund to give the, the county to know and the county budget commission know what our uh, five-year plan is, five-year forecast, which is our budget. And then the other two funds that collect that we collect taxes for are our debt service fund and our permanent improvement fund. The debt service fund, the county has to look and see what our principal and interest payments that are due in the next year, what fund balance do we have in order to know what millage rates they need to set annually to collect the amount of money needed to make those principal and interest payments. And then the permanent improvement fund, we moved two inside mills from the general fund to permanent improvement fund previously and so those two mills collect about three million dollars annually and what the district spends it on is we have a bus replacement schedule which we spend five hundred thousand dollars on we have a technology replacement schedule which we spend seven hundred thousand dollars on we have maintenance district-wide our budget is only eight hundred thousand dollars and then the other uh, million dollars is on is on the debt that, from the House Bill 264 project and the two high schools blended learning lots that were renovated. So that's the $3 million that we spend annually in the permanent improvement fund. Why this is also important is because if the district were to ever want to move more inside millage to a permanent improvement fund, maybe to help with such things as maintenance because $800,000 on a district this large and our square footage our facility needs is very small. So in order to be able to move inside millage, you have to have a hearing, and it has to be tonight, so at your budget hearing. So it's once a year you have that opportunity, and you have to show the need in your budget. So for future thinking and possibilities, if that was ever, the board would ever want to think about that, is we'd have to show the need in the budget, and we'd have to have a, the hearing tonight in order to be able to move those millage. So is there any, any questions as far as the tax budget? I, I guess my, the liability of the maintenance only being 800000 that's that's really low. So uh, I see that as a potential vulnerability for us. Um, one large item, that 800000 would get eat up pretty quick, I would imagine. And it does. <laughs> so just like the controls at Montford Heights or the ball field at Corian High School. The roof. <laughs> yeah, and Matt, just so you're aware, we had to do a resolution resolution for needs the last time because of controls at Montford Heights Elementary, um, and it was beyond the budget that we had established. So that's the type of things they're talking about if we don't set it at the forefront. So if there's no other questions, I'm ready to move on to recommending. Okay. Is there so I recommend that the Board of Education approve the proposed fiscal year 21 tax budget, which has uh, $100 million expenses in the general fund, which agrees to our five-year forecast. It has $5 million in the bond service fund or for debt retirement for our Montford Heights bonds and our master facilities bonds and permanent improvements of $3 million as I presented as far as what our uh, bus replacement, technology replacement, maintenance, and the annual debt. If 
that I recommend the Board of Education approve that the tax budget. So moved. Second. My vote is yes. That vote passes five to zero. And that concludes our budget meeting. Uh, the board, the president calls for adjournment. So moved. Second. My vote is yes. And that vote passes five to zero. Thank you.